After having a horrific dream, Brandon awakens to find it is already daylight. Eating breakfast while listening to announcements, he decides it's time to depart after getting dressed. Kyle and Jed are chatting close to the exit. They wait for Ava, Jed's girlfriend, who shows up out of the blue, bringing his stuff along with Brandon, her family's bodyguard. Kyle remarks to Brandon that there is always a chance for violence while jokingly pointing out a few other passengers at the airport. Ava and Jed resume their talk in the interim. He tells Ava that not everything should constantly include her family. She tells Jed they will mostly see him from behind. Together with their granddaughter Rosa, Marty and Hank are arranging their things at the airport. He informs Rosa that as, as she gets older, she begins to look like her mother. Marty explains as they go through the airport, telling her that she would take action on a Rosa, who was inquisitive about where she was going, was left to two, which Marty only responds, startled. An airport worker also recognises Ava as a governor's daughter. As Rosa and Hank are strolling, and Rosa unintentionally drops her teddy bear while conversing, Ava, Jed and Kyle talk about Ava's rule as they stroll, her unsatisfactory work choice and her schooling. Jed queries Ava about her knowledge of herself, to which Ava replies, they are on a holiday to relax and forget about school, not to be questioned. Rosa anxiously goes through her luggage, in memory of her lost teddy bear. She runs into Ava in her hurry. Ava's clothing becomes splattered with coffee. Rosa flees in fear and returns to Hank for solace, after realising it, and chooses to go in quest of the teddy bear on her own. Rose's face lights up again when she receives the rescued teddy bear from Ava. On board, Danilo, the stewardess, says hello to each person before going inside. As he enters, Brandon notifies Ava that they've moved beyond the chairs, but Ava clarifies that they will be seated apart while they board from the back. Danilo displays safety protocols for takeoff. Ava reprimands Kyle and forces him to stop making fun of him. Later, Danilo makes a fake request for a drink when Kyle to exact vengeance on him by spilling it, leaving Ahi smiles contentedly as he walks past. Rosa and her grandparents, meanwhile, have a lively connection and enjoy yourself immensely during the flight. There aren't many people aboard the aircraft, as Ava observes. Kyle says in jest that the aircraft is outdated, thus nobody wants to accept the chance. Birds fly into the aircraft engine resulting in some aircraft instability. Rosa is staring outside the aircraft as she saw the jet engine gradually disintegrating. She instantly alerted her grandma to it, looking alarmed. Abruptly, a jet engine component impacted a breach on one side of the aircraft. Those who didn't buckle up were sucked out of the aircraft because of the elevated pressure. Also, a stewardess was entangled in the inn, an attempt to assist a passenger, Hoover, Eva and Brandon exchanged a watch as the aircraft fell. The aircraft broke apart and smashed into the waters, causing the passengers to suffer injuries. Carl incurred a fractured hand upon collision. After some time, the aircraft plunged into the water gently. The plane's midsection filled with water. However, the back portion stayed above the waterline. Danilo came in and inquired about everyone's well-being. Brandon was sitting when he abruptly came out of the Rosa and Marty, are carried in the centre. Brandon took out the little metal object stuck in his chest. Danilo started CPR right away, effectively removing water, rescuing Marty from her body. They asked after Hank and Brandon broke the tragic news of his demise. Jed was upset and had tears in his eyes. However, Brandon comforted and relaxed them, for their own protection, he advised them to remain in the airlock. Danilo stated that the pilot made a radio call prior to the collision so that authorities would immediately realise their predicament. Upon hearing this, Kyle informed Danilo that he declared the same thing. Just in case the air inside them runs out, Danilo was told by Brandon to find an air tank. Upon failing to locate one, Marty proposed that they take the oxygen tank from a man she noticed in the group of travellers. Brandon moved fast to get the air tank back. Bravely submerging himself, Brandon gets Hank's cap. But out of nowhere, a shark strikes him via a hole. The shark bites his side as he struggles. But thankfully, he gets away and delivers the group's oxygen tank and cap. Brandon cautions Ava to avoid him. Ava notices a large gap in Brandon's side, he advises her to exert strength before to being drawn back into the ocean. When Ava notices this, they start to run away in terror. She sobs about Brandon's destiny as well. Marty observes a notable decline in the spirits of group, so she advises them to focus on Kyle's injuries, and he yells because the agony is so great. While they realign his fractured limb, a rescue helicopter is dispatched in the meanwhile to locate the crash site of the aircraft. The rescue chopper is instructed by the radio operator to step up the search effort since a governor's child is a traveller. After some time, Jed speaks with Ava, 
and recommends that they move forward, but Ava advises them to simply wait for help to arrive if they wish to avoid being like Brandon. Soon after, the water causes the aeroplane to deteriorate. A few of them sob as they remember moments spent with their loved ones. They notice the river becoming crimson while they were speaking. Observing that sharks are consuming the remains of their loved ones, rescue helicopters continue to hover above them. Danilo inquired about their estimated remaining time, and Ava estimated that it may take three to four hours. The aircraft was making buzzing noises, but Danilo waved it off as insignificant. And as Danilo observing, he stated that Jed doesn't trust. Jed mentioned that he holds a degree in engineering. He stated that the aircraft is notably more delicate than a submersible, intended to operate underwater. According to him, at any given time the plane may collapse, allowing water to pour in. The plane's lights turned out shortly after that. As it kept sliding lower and lower, they discovered oneself close to a seamount's edge, with a, a little deviation of the plane from the edge, maybe sending them all the way down to the ocean floor. The aircraft malfunctioned inside. As they assume their new roles, that the angle of the plane steepened. Ava herself realized how terrible the situation was, implied that they were without options, but to try swimming higher. Rosa thought back to what they had learned in school about sharks and revealed that bubbles terrify sharks. Jed did clarify that they wouldn't be able to, to reach the surface in the absence of air. They talked about potential fixes for their air issue. However, nobody was able to provide a solution. Ava gave herself permission to go to the toilet, but she just stared at a long crying within, picture of herself and her mum. The search is still being conducted by the rescue helicopters. When they eventually find the accident site, two scuba divers are sent. As the two divers descend, they observe their aircraft perched atop a seamount. Observing that the aircraft's cockpit light is activated, they approach it more closely. Their crew keeps looking for items. Rosa questioned Ava about her fear, and Ava noticed Rosa was growing tense rapidly so she came over to comfort and reassure her, hope they would be able to make it through. After a short while, the two scuba divers made their way towards them. While a scuba diver was making a signal, they perceived a shark. The scuba diver was pushed down by him, and the gang was engulfed in terror once more. When the two saw the diver's bleeding, severed leg, running out on fuel, the soldiers inside departed, and they thought the scuba divers could manage the issue. As everything was going on, Ava and her friends discussed potential escape routes. Ava considered utilising one of the dive tanks from the she descended to the area where the scuba divers who had died. Jet asked Ava if she had discovered anything. In response, Ava said she wasn't sure. She dove once again to make sure. When she surfaced once more, she told Jed, look what she discovered. Meanwhile, Jed inadvertently fell into the water. A shark saw him and began dragging him beneath. Ava attempted to save Jed along with the others, but sadly, one of his legs was cut by the shark, and Rosa was led by Marty to remain in the background and advised not to approach the waiter. Marty helped Jed with his cut leg and administered basic first aid. Jed inquired of Ava how serious his wound was, and Ava reported that there was no longer any blood. Jed was split between laughing and crying because of Marty had covered his foot during the encounter. Perplexed by not feeling his leg, Ava jumped in and started digging, looking for the luggages when all of a sudden there was an octopus in front of her. Ava emerged, found just one luggage. When Kyle noticed that Jed was pale, she to request that Ava see him. Ava spoke with Jed, bringing up his wish to visit Alaska. They would head there shortly, she promised him. Jed said that Ava says it all the time, but this time, Ava argued, it's real. As Ava spoke with Jed, saw an object on the window, causing them to share a peek out the window. Marty apologized to Ava, felt Jed's pulse. Ava questioned Marty's motivation for apologizing. She tried CPR while sobbing after realizing Jed was dead. Danilo stopped her after realizing that was the end of their options. Ava said that Jed wanted to assist her, but she caused his death. Marty put a jacket over Jed's torso as the aircraft began to produce more noise. While it kept disintegrating, Ava investigated the situation and informed her friends that they had to get out while they could. Kyle wasn't convinced they could pull it off, worry that they may end up as shark meal. Rosa's suggestion was to use the bubbles as, as well as the breathing gas canisters. Many more canisters were available and all, all they had to do was get some dive gear. Observing Kyle's discomfort, Ava inquired about his well-being. With difficulty, Kyle related a horrific experience from when he was led by his father to a swimming pool. Ava kept gathering canisters to make more bubbles, despite hearing something abruptly. They continued making arrangements 
Eva observed sharks in the window, but she paid them no mind. When she inquired about Rosa's dreams, Rosa stated that she wanted to be a veterinarian. Rosa, in turn, inquired about Ava's intentions, and Ava disclosed that she planned to go back to law school. Kyle inquired of their friends regarding their intentions following his escape, and Danilo disclosed his desire to wed his companion. Additionally, Kyle stated that he is not planning anything. Danilo agreed and advised them to get out of there. Ava came over, Jed's lifeless corpse. They heard a second noise abruptly, and the plane took off. Kyle looked out the window and saw that the plane was starting to break. Eva reassured that they could return home, as long as they didn't move too quickly. Eva was the one who organised their plans. She proposed to divide the scuba tank, until they got to the top, highlighting the significance of not second-guessing. She glanced to Kyle, looking for validation. Marty begged Ava to look after her. Grandchild promising to go above and above for her, Ava concurred. Marty then addressed Rosa, bringing up their trips to the zoo, something she has always desired. Her granddad was usually in the lead, whilst she was in the rear. Rosa was informed by Marty that her grandfather was still a ghost keeping watch on her. Rosa nodded while shedding a tear, and Marty gave Ava custody of Rosa. Rosa was told by Ava to pull the cord if they saw a shark, and before they left, they put on their goggles. Marty said she was pleased with Rosa. When Ava and Rosa plunged in, they came across a shark and managed to fend it off, although Marty chose to remain in the aircraft. She asked her spouse to observe in a whisper, before finally meeting her end. After observing Marty's choice, Kyle turned around. Sadly though, the shark dragged him off and left Danilo had no option but to depart. Ava and Rosa carried on swimming in the meanwhile, finding the dead diver in the water. To breathe, they grabbed the oxygen tank, and Danilo ultimately joined them. Ava asked how the others were doing, however, she saw Danilo by himself, and they switched oxygen, removing the tank from the scuba diver who had died, Getting ready to climb up, Eva abruptly pulled the cable that was tiered to Rosa, allowing them to ascend to the top. Eva saw a shark, concealing itself. But as the aircraft plummeted, sending Eva plummeting, she had trouble swimming uphill but ultimately passed out. Thankfully, her life jacket provided her to the surface. She looked for Danilo and Rosa. All that was floating was Rosa's little teddy bear. Helicopters arrived, dropped Eva a rope and raised her, and she was relieved to see Rosa and Danilo. Ava was questioned by the soldier whether anybody else was abandoned, but Ava only shook her head. Ava shook her. Rosa accepted the teddy bear from Ava. She felt that it was no longer necessary, therefore she chose to throw it back into the ocean. 